Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Check OG, back with another Destiny 2 video. Um, today, I guess I just want to rant a little bit. I guess you can or, or, or talk about. It's pretty much like a, a review of of uh, the upcoming DLC, which is Curse of Osiris. Um, I did watch the tra the new trailer for it. And I did see the live stream, and I must say, I don't know if I'm convinced yet, but I feel from what I've seen that it does have potential. It, it definitely has a lot of potential, but it is lacking a few things that most of us people that love and enjoy this game want which is grinding we don't have that anymore and uh, I don't know to me that is extremely extremely unacceptable right now we shouldn't be waiting for a, a DLC to come out for us to have good end game content we should get good end game in game content right off the bat but you know it's a business and i understand you know you business have businesses are business and they have to be run a certain way and i understand i completely understand that to in order to make money in order to pay for everything that's being invested in, in then you know you have to make money and i understand but I don't know. That's kind of like it's not a fair. Um, this war is a complicated algorithm, to be certain. It's not a fair system to me because it's like who's whoever says that a DLC has to be this and it has to be that. You know what I mean? So technically, how much you're paying for it is how much you're thinking that it's actually worth, and they may be viewing it differently. They may, be, they may be viewing it as in, well, you know, for us, this content is worth this much, this little content right here. So we're going to charge you 30 bucks for that. And that's their pricing. But to, to us, it may be a $15 DLC. You know what I mean? But it, that's just business. It's, that's how they do business, and that's how they want to do business. And I noticed that they, they're in the more, a little more pricey side when you go to their sites and stuff like that. You know, they got... Their stuff is a little more expensive than, you know, normal toys that you would see in other to in other stores. Which, you know, toys are meant to be cheap, you know, because they're for kids. Or most of them are for kids, and some of them are for people like me who collect those. But I don't know. Hopefully, it goes well, and uh, hopefully that. It pans out the way it's supposed to. But, you know, like I said, those this war certain aspects that made Destiny 1 great aren't there anymore. And those aspects were the core the mystery is player you never know what you're going to find. favorite or best thing to do was the grind. The best Imago or the best Grasp of Malik you could find with the best role that you can get. Guardian. That was the fucking grind right there. Two guns, two the of the rarest the weapons in the game that you can possibly get. You know, I had one of both. So, but you have to understand how many hours I've been playing in this game. I've been playing a shit ton of hours. I have about 78 completions, raid completions on Destiny 1. Something around that. And then uh, on, on D2, it's like, I, must admit, Guardian, I don't even get the, I don't even get the feeling of even getting on and Guardian. playing that raid. Because it's not what it should be. At least that's what I feel.
okay so another thing too that i wanted to talk about is this over here we got this week or this weekend we got the uh, clarion call which is a double xp for people to i guess an incentive to people to come back and come get these things but the, i don't think they understand that most of us have all of it already and only a few the casual gamers that don't really give a shit have already the stuff that they want so it's like how are you gonna what that doesn't entice anyone to want to do anything so to me you have to convince the public a little more you have to show a little more than that i mean i know there's a limit there is a limit and that's another thing that i wanted to talk about as well there's a shit ton of youtubers out there who ruin these games for us and i don't mean to be rude and disrespectful and i don't hate on any of y'all because in fact i watch a lot of a lot of those youtubers but i feel like they ruin the game sometimes because they show more than they should and they say more than they should and i understand that their public or their people pressure them in, into doing this because a lot of them, you know, they don't want to lose subscribers. Come on now. Every, you know, why beg for subscribers at the end of your video if that's not what, if that you're not asking for su subscribers? Come on now. You know, every time I watch every single YouTuber's videos, I was like, please leave a like and, uh, you know subscribe if you enjoy the video or if you want or please something you know something along those lines but you know i understand that they have to keep that crowd up so you know a lot of them you know and it's not trying to be rude but they do overhype some stuff up they and it's not and it's not their fault and i and i think it, it has more to do with their excitement because they they themselves start to assume things that are never going to happen. I remember one of them YouTubers. I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to point fingers at anyone. But I recall one of them saying that these guns were not going to... These guns, these faction guns were going to go away. And we weren't going to get them anymore. And another thing they said was... Or I, I'm, I'm assuming they suggested it. I'm, but the thing is the people are going to believe that. Some people are going to get the wrong idea, the wrong impression. So don't assume anything. You know, I would say, if anything, leave the questions up to the player. Let the player discover that for themselves. Like, why? I, I understand the beta. You release a beta. Let us play the first mission. Why are they playing the first mission? Like, why? What? what gives them, you know... The privilege over over us that we paid the the money for to, for the game as well you know so it's like why not just release it on a, like a beta pre-beta here's a mission play the mission just like everybody else so that y'all can get the same preview that everyone is getting not these youtubers who keep ruining the game really because all the complaints that everybody has all the complaints about this needs to be nerfed or this needs to be buffed. All those complaints are changing the game. And like I was telling a lot of my clan mates, you know, the, the game is changing and everybody right now is getting prepared to stop playing this game. Do you like you have to understand how horrible that is? Like and me, even as the guy who started the clan, I feel even kind of embarrassed because a lot of people don't want to come back and play it, man. And I feel bad for some of those people who who want to play it, but don't have people to play it because they don't, you know, a lot of the clan mates don't want to come back. It's it's just, they say the game is trash now. The game is changed. The game is not the way it should have been. I mean, of course, I feel like it, at, in the future, it will have the, the right fix, but we can't, we've been three years into the game going to four years now with this one this is the fourth year now i think that in four years that's enough time for you to to know and understand oh well they like this 
you know let's keep the, this in in the mix and let's not take this out because then this is going to ruin something else. i don't think they even thought it through because or whoever is making their decisions is not making decisions right but either way i am hopeful and i will hope for the best for destiny 2 for me that's pretty much it for my opinions and my take on all the situation um like i said though i think people need to stop complaining so much so they can stop changing the game Remain vigilant, and Guardian. i we think we just need to let them do what what they can do best you know and let them figure out what they want to figure out it, it is their game and they're gonna make the story out to be whatever they want their story out to be so however they change the story that's their decision and if they make the wrong decision that's that's them i mean they want to they want to fix it or they want to do something different then they got destiny 3 to do that i guess and it, and you know business wise this game is still young it's a it's only four it's only three and a half years old if you put it that way so th th think about think about it like this call of duty has been around for a long time maybe more than 10 years so it's already has a legacy it already has a, a a whole branch of games while as destiny comes this from a, a another game going into this which is destiny and it's like a whole new game you know this is a whole new style of game in a in mass uh popular game that has to it pretty much like mmo styled and you know you you have to be vigilant, Guardian. We may never quite be as safe as we think. Either doing it because you love it or doing it because you want that money. And I'm sure that's the they're doing it because I mean they may it may be both but a little more than money. <laughs> Cuz uh, they also have contracts, you know. They have a contract with Activision with their their partners. So that means they're in association. I must admit, Guardian, and as being in association, then you get, you know, uh, you're going to have to do certain things a certain way. So, I mean, Call of Duty just came out. Call of Duty has the same exact type of method that, uh, you know, um, what's it called has? Um, Destiny has. They have a tower. Uh, Call of Duty has a headquarters. So, I mean, it makes sense that they would do, they would pull that move. Guardian. What puzzles do you bear? Go play this game. Go buy that game. But also purchase this one. You know? Buy our games. And I mean... It's... In, in a certain way, I understand it. And I don't mind it. Because I do want to buy their games. I think they're great companies. It's just that they need to... Stop listening too much. And focus more on how they had their game. Because their game originally was great, and this one was like an homage to the YouTubers, I guess. And look at what it turned out to be, nothing. You know, something that people consider nothing anymore. Destiny used to be something. It used to be a way of life. <laughs> and now, that way of life is gone, my brothers. So, but anyway, with that said, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that fucking rant. And uh, I really wanted needed to get that out. You know, I've been talking to a lot of my clan mates. And I know that a lot of the people in the clan are getting a little, you know, tired of not having a lot of people on. As you can see, look, this is my, this is my pages. I got eight pages of people. And nobody, nobody almost nobody is on right now. And it's about... 5 p.m. and there are no souls besides the people who are in the tower right now with me of course which are these people right here which I mean people do still play the game but the people that I was playing with the people who used to love the game just as much as I did are not playing it anymore